Hey everybody and welcome to the next Three Ways in Flame. Now this one's going to be on Three Ways in Flame to share your setups. Now if you are new to Flame or are a freelancer, um, you know, it's important to know how you can pass on your setups um, to another uh, facility. So um, we're going to go over several different ways to share your setups to ensure uh, you can uh, deliver what you promised to begin with. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to jump into um, my setups reel and you'll see I've got my source footage here. Um, let's make it 25 frames long. Um, you see, I've got two uh, two very basic things happening. I've, I've got a blur and then a color correct going, and then in this other branch, I have a blur and another color correct doing pretty much the same thing. Now, the first way you can save is um, just by using this old uh, old school save drop down, which is I'll just press save, and give it a second, let's press save again, confirm, and I'll just go save as. Um, the first way is um, if I just call this, uh, you know, uh, save 01, I'll save that. That's one way to save it. Now, uh, it's a very old school way of saving. Um, if you have um, your desktop cleared, um, clips won't automatically load using this. Um, I'm, not, um, I'm not saying it's the wrong way to do it. You know, a lot of people still use this way, um, but there are better ways to save, but um, it's worth knowing that that is one way to do it because um, the um, the plus using that method, if we go to our, our batch save, um, as you see, the the save file size is actually quite small. It's only 81 megabytes, but um, the drawback if you do use this method, if you're loading this on a system without this archived, um, is this clip's going to be red and not um, not linked? So you're going to have to replace or swap out your source. So you know it's not um, it's not the worst way in the world, but it is a way to save, and a lot of people use it, and it can work. Um, um, also, the thing to note with this method is um, you can always do um, sort by date. So if you had different saves going on here, you could always load your latest that way. Um, personally, I don't like using that way. Um, that's you know it's just personal preference, but you know there's to each their own. Now the other way is um, with um, using the right file. Now the right file is great and I'm going to enable create clip, include setup, and I'm just going to use follow iteration. I've already got the setup to save to a path here. And if I just put this to um, 25 frames, just click render. It's going to click overwrite, let that overwrite. Now this is an interesting way to save because um, what it does is it uh, renders out, a, uh, in this case, a DPX. Um, you can choose any format you like, but it renders out that as well as a clip setup. So one, it's better than the other old save way because one, it shows you what you've written out, but it also gives you the ability to expand it. And I'll show that right here. So I'm just going to go to read file. I'm just going to refresh. And again, this is where it got written out to. So it's in the volumes archive setups open clip. And you see it spits out two files. And the first one is a DPX. We can tell that by here. And this, the second one is open clip. So if we just load that in, and you see it comes in here. Let's go 25 so it matches. And if we press F4, you can see um, right now it's calling on the DPX. It's been rendered um, into that uh, open clip file. So again, we can quickly see what was done. And then if we want to tweak, um, again, because we had versions enabled, you see we have this access to version 1. And what happens is we have this append to current batch. And if I just swipe over here and then double click on that, it's going to hide that. And append to current batch, you see it gives us a group. And the group um, literally is just a container just with all our setups from the previous one. So if we press ungroup, you see, again, we still have our original just to see um, what was rendered. And then, you know, we can also check to make sure that matches, um, which is also important when you're passing stuff on. Now, the thing to note with this is, you know, there's several caveats too. Now, a lot of people might remember um, this write, write file open clip uh, workflow a while ago. If you had a branch, um, that wasn't part of the initial processing tree, um, it would disregard this and this wouldn't come through. Um, and, you know, that was kind of crappy, but um, I just want to remind people that that doesn't exist now and anything that's involved in the tree now automatically gets uh, included in the setup file, which is a very, very handy thing. Now, again, one other caveat with this is just like the traditional save, save as, um, this only relinked because if I open this as a sequence, it's pointing to um, my media. And again, like if this was getting uh, sent to someone and then 
you know, they had to pick it up. Uh, this would be red or black and be missing media. Um, that's just the nature of it. Um, but again, if we just uh, tab over to Finder and just look in the open clip setup and we just go get info, you see it's only 14 megabytes. And if I just go just to the setups, you see, again, it's, it's tiny compared to what you'd usually get for an archive. Now this, this workflow I would only recommend if someone offsite set this up to a certain time range and gave you this exact clip and you know, maybe built you a starting template for your, for your comps. And you knew that if you sent this back, all they had to do was just swap out this back clip. So it didn't matter that you didn't supply them with the media and it was just simple to swap out. Now, again, it's uh, not always that easy. You know, what happens when you have multi-layer comps? Again, it depends on your workflow and time constraints. Now, the, the other way you could do this um, is, you know, through the traditional media hub. And, you know, one way you could do it is if I just go to other projects on here, you know, you could, um, again, just just by browsing to whatever setup you want. I'll just jump here, just go here, maybe go to the reels and just scan subdirectories. You could always, again, just, I like to turn off background wire. You could click and drag, you know, this is from another project and just drop it over. So that's one way to, another way to share. Um, again, this is only useful if you're at a facility with, uh, you know, multiple flames set up um, using the, um, the wiretap gateway network and they will show up um you know on here so if we had other um people on the autodesk network you know we'd have say this was facility there'd be a flame one flame two flame three here that's another quick way to do it too um again i'd recommend a uh, fiber connection if you're going to do it that way because it is essentially just like when you'd archive a project it can be very very heavy but again that's um a third way now the last way to share setups um you know isn't the most amazing way in the world, but it's the most foolproof. So this is my, my batch setup, which is this guy here, this new batch, and I'm gonna go to Media Hub. You see, I've got an archives folder ready, and I'm just gonna go new archive. I'm just gonna go create. And you know, this is just using a batch group, so I'm just gonna pull that out, drop that in, and you see it's giving me an estimate. So first off, when we're including the media, you see things pop up a lot. And again, if we go to archive options, right now I'm soft linking, so again, you'd wanna turn on cache to media. Um, you can exclude renders that can help things out and you know, just use, use versions. You see it's down to 37, but again, the bigger, uh, the bigger tree or comp you have, this can get um, you know, pretty big, pretty quick. So you know, it's up to you how you want to use it. Um, personally, I'm just going to cancel that. Personally, I'm just going to clear tasks. Personally, I actually prefer the, the right file um, whenever I can because again, it includes everything and um, it's pretty easy just to replace, to find and replace that one clip. Or if there's two or three, you know, it's not too bad. Again, uh, pending, uh, everything's set up nice and easy on the other end where they know it's easy just to swap out this source and another source. So, um, you know, that's gonna be it for this uh, Three Ways in Flame, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more.